Okay, well, this is Martin Shearer at Tesseract Restoration Studios, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a new project today. This is a Yadro, one of our specialties. Uh, this is a Yadro fairy pushing a basket of flowers that's a boat. Uh, she's pulling a boat. And in the foreground, you can see uh, the broken pieces that I have. I think. I have most of, if not all of, the broken pieces. And uh, I won't know until I rebuild it. So let me turn it around so you can see the damage that we need to repair. It's easier to see from the back. Okay. Put a thumb. So first I need to uh, repair, there's a missing thumb. I don't have the thumb, it's, it's broken off. So I have to repair a thumb, create a new one. And then <clears throat> all of the rest of the damage is down in the basket of flowers. I have a large flower that goes in here that's, that's broken. You can see these petals. And then I have broken petals for this flower. Three of them came off. And a bunch of these little ones that go down in here along the edge of this basket need to be replaced. And there are a couple of leaves in there. So we've got two big flowers to repair, a bunch of little ones along the rim, a few pieces of um, leaf tips and flower petals that need to go back in here. And that's the job we need to do on this one. Probably the most difficult aspect of this job is going to be making this thumb. <laughs> it's the littlest thing here that needs to be replaced, but it's the hardest thing to repair because there's such a minimal area upon which to bond the thumb and I don't like to drill it for an armature on a piece that's this small because I'm essentially reducing the contact area for the bonding agent and also creating an easier to break thumb in the future so I think I'll just recreate a thumb and uh, build it on there with a very strong epoxy and if that doesn't work then um, I'll have to do an armature but if I can get away without doing that it would be better because it will be stronger without it so that's the job we need to do on this piece okay so we're gonna start on this Yadro ferry repair and uh, First thing I'm going to do is glue this large white flower together. another flower petal on and this uh, and this piece I'm working my way down from the larger pieces to the smaller sometimes I move the other direction 
but it's I need to be very exact with these uh, flower petals. There's only a tiny edge on this thing to put the glue on. We say glue. We really mean bonding agent. The glue is something you use on wood and pasting paper together. We use a bonding agent. But we just say glue because that's a one syllable word is easier to say than bonding agent. So if I get this in there here and, and it's in the right place, the way that these petals inter interlock, it should line up perfectly with where it goes. And the seam will be absolutely invisible if I get perfect alignment. And I think I got it. I'm going to try to glue on a couple more petals. a clay ball to hold this in place because I can't get the tape where I need it so I use modeling clay it's a very soft clay it never gets hard so I can use it as a prop Because the part it sticks to the porcelain and then I'll do the same thing with this one Oh, we got her. And here we are uh, the next day. And we're going to glue some more parts together here. It's pretty small. I mean, not a lot, but that's how we do it a little bit at a time. Now my bonding agent is getting thicker. It actually helps the placement of the parts because it's a little stickier. When it's runnier, it's a little loose and it doesn't hold as well. Easier than others. Says glue. Okay.
Well, one down, one more down. <laughs> okay, who's next? I've got a leaf to put on. Oh, I got this other part of the leaf. Glue in here. Talk about luck. That's it. Put it in place. Got lucky. <laughs> Popped it right into the exact position on the first try. Um, you know what? I think there's one more I can stick on today. And it's one of these little flowers that goes behind this filler. it for today on this piece but we're working our way down we're getting fewer and fewer pieces to put in place they all have to sort of go in in their correct order take our time and do it slowly and accurately and so this has been sitting for a couple of days for all my uh, previous applications of my bonding agent to have time to cure uh, I want to make sure they're fully cured before I go into the next piece because there's so many delicate things and I, I can't afford to have something go something I fixed earlier get knocked out of position so here a lot of this is just uh, one more application of a bonding agent for a tiny piece of porcelain to be attached and here I mean <laughs> this is not even a whole drop of glue on here and I don't have a place to stick my clay or I don't want to stick a piece of tape on this so I'm pretty sure I have it in a position where when I put this pedal in here gravity will do my work for me so drop it in here nudge it into place and 
there we have it. I just want to make sure I don't have any excess glue. Alright, now that will sit for at least a day, probably two. And in the meantime, I will go back to my the rest of this tableau from which this flower came, and we'll add a couple more pieces, hopefully these two, to it. Just need a couple of tiny drops way down in here. as much as I can on that surface because all we have is an edge this wide to put glue on. That's all that's going to be holding it. So, let's position these leaves in here and I'm going to use my clay to help hold it in position. So um, we're getting fewer and fewer pieces to add. Getting close to uh, being done with the rebuild here. A uh, couple more sessions and then we'll get to the thumb. Okay, now it's the next day. I'm going to take my props off of these. glue is set. These flowers have five petals in the middle and then there's a row outside that go between them. And so this one has a broken piece in there. It has the main petal. And then there's one, be, half of one behind it that goes in here. So I'm going to put that one on.
something to hold it in place. from several pieces of shattered So I'm going to put the last broken pedal in here. I've got a drop of glue back inside this flower. So I'm just putting this last flower bud in here. There we go. I've got to repair this thumb. I don't have the thumb so I have to make a new one. So I've got uh, some A plus B epoxy here, some A plus B putty. I'm going to put that on here on the stump. thumb on if I had a way to put a brace in here but I don't I have this in my way and I have to work around it and it's going to be problematic when I do my filing and my painting and everything else but that's part of the challenge is working around this metal poles that she's holding here so anyway it's a tedious little job it's a whole lot of little things on this that have to okay and it's the next day now and I'm um, gonna add a little more to this thumb stump
and it is now the next day and I have my full length on my thumb it's actually a little too long so I'm gonna cut it off right here that'll be the length of my thumb I'm just gonna use a fingernail clip to take that off hope I can do it without breaking my thumb off no I didn't okay well <laughs> I'm going to work on this now while it's off and then I'll glue it back on. But uh, I, was, I was thinking that might happen. There's only this much space to hold the to the thumb stump. off the thumb in the last installment of this repair video and I uh, have since then uh, filed it down and it needed some fill so I uh, did that filled it and I just filed it down this morning because I didn't film it because <laughs> it's so small that the file covered it up you couldn't see it. it looked like I was filing my nails so you couldn't see it so we need to put this uh, thumb in place on the stump. So all I need is like a tiny drop of this. So we're finally ready to put some paint on this gal. Uh, got my color mixed up and more shoot it on there. I've got a masking fluid on this cane here. So uh, Here's our wrap up on the uh, Yadro Ferry repair. As we can see, she's all back together, all our little parts glued back in place.